Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about scenario outline in our uh, web driver IO. Okay, in the previous video I explained like how we can able to create for scenario and scenario steps and how uh, unimplemented steps we need to uh, get and after that how we can able to implement and also how we can able to implement by using for page object model okay normal format and after that we created for page object model as well okay now we are going to do it for now by using hard coding we are going to take for scenario outline scenario outline is nothing but if you want to use for multiple set of data to validate whether it is valid cases or invalid case both the combination in one single function we can able to use without impacting old code okay and how we can able to and basically scenario outline we can able to call it as a data driven framework also data driven concept also it will inbuilt of that okay what data driven can do that we can able to store something data in excel file and we can able to consume and we can able to validate the similar format here as well scenario outlet we can able to pass it for invalid and valid data and misses something and we can able to validate it okay i'm going to referring for this particular format okay this is the format we need to take up which is uh, passing from future file and we can able to get the username and password and message from scenario outline location okay how we can able to do it without impacting now just i'm copying this particular scenario pasting and here i can able to use for and i'm going to use for username and password concept and here i can able to uh less than and uh, greater than symbols we need to pass it okay and after that we can able to use it this and message i'm going to use it and scenario outline with follow with the examples without examples it will not work properly okay we need to pass for uh, pipe symbol and we need to use for username and password and pipe symbol and message okay then we can able to pass it for a valid username and password and we have already here and just i'm copying these values same thing i'm pasting here now you can see here i'm going to make it username and password and you can able to see messages okay all the things it will be presented now in the previous video we used for login method with passing for hard coded value now these values coming from future file okay both valid case this one and invalid case this one without impacting my old code like i'm going to say uh, without using the same code just i'm going to create for this two functions again these two functions one more time because another scenario also dependency is there but i don't want to disturb that particular one but i want to use it here and the username purpose i'm going to make it for username comma password okay same password and username again i'm passing for here okay and here i'm going to make it for message okay same message i'm going to pass it here okay but before these two values consuming but if you write the method here like this and if you're calling this future file but it will not work because the username and we specify like this but if you are going to take this particular value like this it will not accept as expected okay for this what i can do right for here i will take for some format okay this is my format like they are already provide the format just i'm going to referring that particular format and i'm using okay this is the format and what i can do 
here I can able to pass it this particular valid information. Okay, now I can able to use for password and all it's the same. This I'm going to remove. Okay, now again, <clears throat> I'm going to take for message as well. Just I'm going to copying this particular information. Just we can able up to here, we can do it and remove everything. Remove this as well. Now, this is the message it will take from scenario outline. Okay, now here one test case, and here is two test cases need to two times need to run. Okay, three steps. It will become three steps, three times need to or uh, two times need to be executed. Okay. Now nothing I changed. Just we can uh, here just we used for normal message and all. Okay, and remaining everything same. Just we parameterize this to here and here also. Okay, everything coming from here, all the things from here. Now I'm going to use it uh, spec my login dot feature. Okay, now you can see. Now, first time it is executing with the valid cases just. Uh, now you can see we need to fail our test case, right? Two steps are see now all the steps. Okay, two cases gone and one case it is failed. Can do I provide. Invalid cases are passed and valid case time it is failed. Now everything got done. Okay, even this is also green. You can see the very first success message. Okay, again something the function. I verify. Just the function name it is taking as a first one actually. We should not impact which is the one you are going to return. Now all the cases got passed. Uh, because uh, what happened uh, without uh, this particular information it is winning every time it is going for direct here pass to case only and even it is not taking for negative case because only one function is presented we uh, we uh, here we modified but i copied this particular message one but every time it is referring for first method. Okay, after I return for I symbol. Okay, then automatically it is coming for the second verification location. Okay, without uh, writing for any uh, function again, just we are using the function and we re implementing the steps without impact in the code. Okay, just we are re implementing. This is a way we can able to create n number of data. If you want to create another value set, if you want to pass here, you can pass it. We can able to run that as well, okay, without fail. If you want n number of scenario outlines, you can able to create n number of scenario outline in this feature. 
or a new feature it will work for you okay and only one thing you have to remember this format okay this is one complicated format here but 100% it will work for you okay thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you